Late blight is the most devastating disease in potatoes. Late blight consumes all parts of the potato plant and can infect tubers, making them unmarketable. Late blight spreads rapidly within and between fields and can travel great distances, making it a community disease. Late blight survives from year to year in infected tubers. This makes cull pile management critical. Late blight can infect a potato plant or an alternate host, such as tomatoes or some weed species related to potatoes, in as little as two hours, and symptoms are visible within as little as three days. Then, as soon as two days later, the infection can produce spores and spread. Tubers can be infected whenever they come in contact with late blight spores. Tubers close to the soil surface are more likely to come in contact with washed off spores. High humidity and a temperature range between 12 and 24 degrees Celsius are ideal for late blight. Under warmer conditions, spores infect potato plants directly. When it gets cooler, zoospores are formed that can survive until conditions are more favorable for spread. Infections can appear on any leaves and eventually stems of potato plants. Dark but not black round spots form with water-soaked margins. When reproducing, a fine downy mildew sporangia can be seen with the naked eye. Late blight lesions are not limited in size by leaf veins. When stems are infected, they are consumed by late blight but retain their structure. Stems that are infected may dry up but still harbor late blight spores that will be released when weather conditions are favorable. Dried up infected stems can sometimes be confused with symptoms of Botrytis vine rot. Thank you.